Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie Tourmaline and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup tutorial slash just getting ready in the morning. Um, I'm gonna infuse some of my witchy flair by doing a bit of glamour magic. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. Um, so let's begin. I'm gonna start by washing my face, of course. Um, I usually use, I think I'm gonna use this uh, Aquarius by Herbivore um, Clarity Cleanser. So let's see what. I'm like so tired today, guys. Ugh. Did not sleep well. Before I continue on, um, whenever I'm doing like a glamour magic sort of thing, I always do a um, a prayer and light incense for Aphrodite. Um, I also do this every Friday, and it just so happens to be a Friday, so we're gonna do that today. I like using frankincense and myrrh, um, or some sort of like rose slash like jasmine and scent for her. Um, and I'm just gonna use this one today. So then I usually pull out like pictures of what I want to look like and envision myself um, looking like that. I do have a vision board behind me, but I do also use Pinterest. Follow me. My name is Antacids on Pinterest with a, um, I think a Z at the end, something like that. Um, but you know what, I'll put it in the link below. Um, but I like to just get ideas and like vision what I want myself to look like. Um, yeah, so let's start our makeup routine. I'm going to start by putting my contacts in. <laughs> I put um, Elong, Elong <laughs> oil on my hands and they still smell like it because I was dressing a candle that I wanted to put some extra oomph on. So now it's like all I smell is Elong, Elong. Okay, so I'm going to now put on some moisturizer that I just dropped on the floor. <sighs> Contacts always like take a second to adjust. So this is um, the Anki List Caffeine Eye Cream. I did not sleep well last night, so I'm just gonna put that right here. I have like no energy today, but but we doing our best. Then I'm gonna use um, Lotus Youth Preserve by Fresh. These are my camera. My camera holder was not happy today. My dog. Um, I keep dropping things on the floor. <laughs> Not in the mood for this. <laughs> so long story short is I have been having really horrible insomnia. I've never experienced insomnia before. So it's like quite difficult to navigate. I'm not going to lie. Um, by the way, I do like to like massage my face while I, um, I don't have a gua sha. I do have a face roller, which I sometimes use. Um, but I like to just get a nice massage as I put moisturizer on. Okay, um, yeah, I have not been sleeping very well at all. And it's been really difficult. I don't know why. There's literally no reason that I could think of as to why. Um, 
it's just hard to like cross the barrier being like unconscious for me for some reason right now um but i don't know i'm just gonna keep trying and hope that i'm able to sleep in the near future this angle is also really not great for me but in fact i'm gonna put my hair down because it's bothering me i will be I just dropped my, mm, I keep dropping these on the floor. My hair tie on the floor. Dropping everything on the floor. Okay. So I'm using some foundation. Sometimes I don't use foundation, but for the purposes of this video, I will. It is a Maybelline Matte Poreless. This is shade 115. It's like ivory. Um, so I will be putting this on and then I'll be blending it. Now I'm gonna, I have a weird process, I guess. I'm gonna use this um, sponge, I guess, to like smooth it out a little more. Smooth it out a little more. And then I'm going to use this to blend it in um, better. To make sure that it's like no streaks. And I feel like it does a great job of covering Like some really good coverage here. Yeah. Definitely. So then I'm going to take um, the this lighter shade. It's 1110. It's the same as... Same like brand and type of foundation. Um, and I'm going to take one of these. And cover up my under eye bags. This lighting is doing me a lot of justice, but they're quite bad today. Quite bad. And then I just blend it in like this with my, um, if you use your ring finger, it actually helps to, um, cause like to not create wrinkles because it's not as intense as like if you used your pointer finger. So usually when I'm doing that, I usually recite a little spell, I guess. And the spell is my flaws you shall not see. All you may see is the beauty that resides inside of me. As I will it, it will be. And I've memorized that and I say it every time I put my foundation on. Because, I don't know, I think it's a great little um, glamour magic tool. Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows and... I got the wrong eyebrow pencil and it really upset me, but this is NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. And like I said, I like the thicker one. This one is quite thin. I didn't read that it said micro on it and it is quite micro. So I'm going to try to, I usually draw like an outline of my brow with this, with like a pencil and then I fill it in. Ah, oh, fuck, I already messed up. <laughs> the good news is the way I do it is, like, you, it doesn't have to be precise because I'm going to go back and fix it. Um, <laughs> so, trust the process on this one. So, for real, trust the process. I look insane right now, um, and it's not even even, but I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes, I still use it. You'll never have me change. It's the dip brow. Um, it's in the shade Ebony. Now you can like choose different shades. I really like the light hair dark eyebrow thing I have going for me because I do, as you'll see, I do dark eye makeup as well. So it really fits. Um, I can't be doing, like I have naturally blonde eyebrows, which is a curse because... <laughs> Like, I have dark hair naturally, but light-ass eyebrows, and it doesn't make sense. So, like, I feel like my eyebrows should be this shade anyway. Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so then I take this brush. It's like half brush, half eyebrow razor, but I use the brush part. I don't even use the eyebrow razor part. And I like to just blend it in a little bit better. Um, and then some people might find this kind of wasteful, but I find it like life hack is I grab some, 
um, Q-tips and I dipped them in like water and I trace the shape out the way I want it to so it's not like you know for purposes of making it like even you can already see a difference so the goal is to make them like sisters <laughs> not twins um I think I did a good job usually I'll go back one more time with the pencil and like just fix if like I need to fix um the ends here or something um but yeah, so that's the eyebrow routine. Then I usually go in with some like concealer right here and here and just blend that in. Um, I gotta find my concealer. <laughs> so this is also NYX. You're gonna be astonished by how many NYX products I use. I just love their products and they're quite affordable, but I'll just do like a little dab, um, usually just on the top. I don't really do it on the bottom because you'll I'll be doing all this with um, eyeshadow. And then I'll grab this little thingy again and I'll just smooth it out. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. I'm already feeling myself <laughs> come back to life. Also, sorry if you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so bad at filming stuff like this. Like I said, my camera holder was not holding in place and that was upsetting. Oops, I did not do a good job at blending that in. I also forgot to say since I'm filming this video um I usually put on a playlist like a glamour magic playlist or I have a playlist that's called like I'm a siren <laughs> and I'll play that and it gets me in like a witchy um mermaidy glamour magic -y mood um my spotify I think it's just I'll link my spotify too <laughs> um down in the in the box um, and I don't do this every day, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do my contour. This is Charlotte Tilsbury. Um, I don't know what it's called. Wait, it should say in the back. Film Star Bronze and Glow. So I usually use this sort of brush and I'll do the bronzy part first. Right in my cheek, like right here. Do a little contour. Okay, and we're looking good to the other side. My animals were fighting. Then I'm going to do my chinish area, like right underneath the jawline. And I want to do a little on my nose, just a little right here. You might want to use a smaller brush for this part, but I just don't feel like it. And then I put a little here. Then I'm going to grab this thing, or like a beauty blender type of thing, and I'm going to make it look not insane. Down here, and right here, and I got a I'm actually really hungry. I didn't even like eat anything yet today. Um, but now we're going to go into the eyes. So if I had to describe my style, I would describe it probably as like romantic goth, um, glam, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, this is so small now. It used to be like this long, but this is Urban Decay, um, waterline eye pencil in Legend. So this is black and it usually, well, it needs to be sharpened, but I go underneath do my eyeline let me sharpen so back to my whole like sleep thing um i actually did make a sleep sachet to help me sleep um and it worked for like two weeks um i actually did a tutorial sort of in my shorts so if you're interested in that check that out but um I still had trouble last night and the night before. I think I'm just nocturnal, genuinely, because um, I don't have a problem sleeping during the day or the morning. It's like, at night, I'm just wide awake. And I know some people are, like, naturally 
night owls and I'm certain I'm like literally one of those people like I hate being awake during the day like it's a struggle um so it looks kind of like that um but yeah I don't know I don't know what's going on I've been trying everything besides sleeping pills because I don't want to be on sleeping pills but I'm struggling so <laughs> um anyway my next thing that I'm going to do is I usually grab a pen or a, a pen um a brush <laughs> that's like this and it's like flat a little bit and then I'm going to grab my black I think this is sort of like my signature thing that I do so don't tell anybody <laughs> but once again NYX Raven eyeshadow and I'm gonna do just under here and I like doing a little like curved shape it really helps elongate my eyes or like make them bigger I think so I just do like a little curvature from here out I'm trying to like do it in a way that you can see this <laughs> appropriately. But I do it like like that. You do it a little bigger actually. But once again, it does not have to be perfect the first time you do it because we're gonna go back with those Q tips and fix it. I love doing this. I feel like it gives that got that romantic gothy look. Um, I think there's a new name for it. I forget what the name is, but I saw on TikTok somebody called it something else and I was like, hey, I do that. Um, like the overall look that I do. And I don't know what they said, but obviously it looks like insane right now. But what I do is, actually one side is a little lopsided. Let me fix that. At this point, it looks like this. Um, and it's so uneven, but what I'm going to do is grab my q-tip and some water once again and i'm gonna go down and like shape it better okay so once again the q-tip is shaping it don't worry about this part yet because what we're going to do is you'll see <laughs> basically you'll see okay keep that stuff out because we're gonna come back to that but now grab like a white eyeshadow. I used to have a NYX just like this and it was in white. I forget what the color was. I think it was called whipped cream, but I ran out. So I'm gonna use um, Too Faced Natural Matte and I'm just gonna use um, the color Heaven, which is like a creamy color. And one of these bad boys, one of the eyeshadow appliers. And I'm gonna do just the like eyelid like don't go any further basically actually sometimes i think that um the pink underneath this one is a little bit lighter and it's called nude goals so i'm actually gonna use that i'm gonna make just the tops of my eyelids once again trust the process because <laughs> i know this looks insane but it will come together and you'll be like, oh, this is all like the purpose of all of this right now is to make your eyes look larger. Um, I tried this on some people who don't have like, um, as large of like space here because of like just facial structure and it didn't look as good. So you might have to, or like it just, I think a different technique might be better for, um, like monolids um or like I don't know what it's called but like smaller space between this um but yeah I just you know you have to figure out what works for you and you can try maybe a different way of applying it because it's not gonna look the same on everybody um so now I'm gonna take naked urban decay heat I usually try to match this color with um like what i'm wearing i don't know what i'm wearing today but i'm thinking of maybe i'll just do the dark colors so i'm gonna grab i'm gonna use ashes which is right here and i'm gonna do a little little bit right here i'll show you in a sec on the other side 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you like what it looks like here. Just gotta be, do it like really lightly at first and then pack on more because sometimes you might, what you might get happening, is that a correct terminology? Um, is like one side might be darker than the other. So then you gotta like, um, so let me show you what this looks like at the moment. So you see how we got the contrast? It's just gonna be even better once you add eyeliner, but I wanna throw in a little sparkly. <laughs> I'm gonna use Ember, which is the last color on this palette. Just a little bit because it helps to add some sparklies. I might make it a little darker though. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter color, the like lightest color here, it's called Ounce. right at the top by the eyebrow, a lighter color. And it helps really to blend this in a whole lot better. So now I'll show you what it looks like. So I still look kind of insane, but we're gonna progress with eyeliner and mascara um you might even want to do like parts of the eyelid this color I don't like doing it I feel like it makes my eye look bigger if I don't I'm gonna use my eyelash curler and curl I used to be terrified of these things actually <laughs> in this video I will not be adding fake lashes because I don't feel like it and I'm not really doing anything today so um if you want to see fake lashes sorry I'm not really doing that today but I'm gonna use eyeliner you guessed it NYX and it's vivid matte um I actually I got another one because it's like about to run out but then I usually do big wing big wing I usually try to start from like almost the center and trace it all the way out. Now we're gonna go onto the other side and do that one. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. My wings are kind of not the best right now. Um, but we're gonna do our mascara. And um, actually, <laughs> before we do mascara, we have to fill in this part because this part looks awful right now. So that's what we're gonna do. I love doing makeup. I just like filming it is really hard <laughs> for some reason. Um, but anyway, we're going back to our black eyeshadow and the little flat brush. And we're gonna fill in the white spot here or you know, the gap, I should say. It's white on me, <laughs> white as hell. Um, and I'm gonna fill it in with this dark color. Um, you could do this with, what would really be cool is like, um, if you use different colors, like if you wanted to um, use like blue eyeliner and blue eyeshadow, that could be cool. Or even red would be really cool in the spirit of being goth, <laughs> right? Um, so then we take our lovely Q-tip again and trace it so it's like, an even like thing. It gives like a cat eye sort of thing. I just wanna make it even. Okay, so let's see what that looks like now. See how it's so much better. Yeah, these are just the colors I'm using. It's more the technique um, for your facial structure and you know, the color of your skin and stuff like that. I feel like this could be very universal, this uh, makeup look. It's just based on, you know, you gotta customize it to you. And that's the beauty of makeup is that it is universal. So now I'm going to go in with my mascara. I swear by this mascara, Better Than Sex by Too Faced. This is my favorite mascara. I have tried others. 
I've tried many. This is not a paid promotion. I wish it was though. Sponsor me. Um, but like I've tried other mascaras and none of them give me this crazy lash effect that you're about to see. So I'm going to apply my mascara. And I usually do a couple of coats. I'm not afraid of them being like thick as hell, by the way. Like if you want more of a thin lash look, that's good. But like, like I said, I'm not putting on fake lashes because this is like my everyday makeup routine. Um, and I don't, I only wear fake lashes if I like have an event to go to or like, you know, I want to be a stunner. So I also realized I should mention I do my under, um, under eyelashes too. You can already see it's starting to come together. Okay, it's coming together. This is what we've got so far. Last step is the lip. So, I also put my straightener on because I need to fix my hair. I have not brushed it yet today, by the way. This is just what I woke up with. Um, but I'm going to do some lips. So... I usually also try to match my lips with my outfit, but I don't know what I'm wearing, so I'm just going to throw on a lip. <laughs> I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilsbury little kit. Um, so, I keep saying Tilsbury, and it's Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. It's like, so, this is Pillow Talk um, Lip Cheat. So, this is for the outsides. Lip liner words. <laughs> so I'm gonna line my lippies. I actually sort of messed it up a little bit. I think I smushed it too much, so. <laughs> so we we're all done with the face now I'm going to do my hair and it needs to be fixed for sure so let's go do that okay I'm gonna brush brush it out first oh it's naughty I'm getting a trim and a blowout tomorrow so that's another reason of not washing my hair but, um, so now I'm going to use, I love using this for heat protection. It is Icy Fantasia Hair Polisher. And I'm going to put a little, little tiny bit because it's, my hair is like naturally wavy, but it's very thick. So if you have thinner hair, I would recommend using like maybe something less intense, but, um, then I'm, I'm not going to um, fully straighten my hair, but I am going to smooth out some of the craziness that's happening. Maybe I will end up just straightening the whole thing. Okay, it's not perfect, <laughs> but I did just 100% fix, fix it. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to leave this shirt on and change my pants. Um, I'm actually going tonight to a Dia de los Muertos celebration. Um, so, but it's also like a yoga thing. So I should stay in like active wear. But I'm hungry, so I might go to Whole Foods. Um, but let's see the final look. Let's face the light, shall we? Oh, too much light, too much light. No fit is complete without perfume. So I have my little bag of samples, <laughs> perfume samples that I love. Um, but one of my favorites is Valentino, born in Roma. And this is the spicy scent. So I'm going to apply it all over myself. So that's it, guys. Thank you for getting ready with me. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment box. Please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And from me and Pepper... We wish you a happy Halloween or Dias de los Muertos or whatever you may celebrate. 
and thanks for watching. Goodbye.